Hello everyone and welcome to another video here of the Tour of Slovenia 2023 on the Cycling Dane Extra channel and if you haven't already make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And uh, yesterday we saw a very interesting stage where we saw Sana, the big favorite, almost winning the stage but then that crash as we know and then his friend or teammate shall we say, Peña, and thank you guys for correcting my pronunciation as well. The Colombian taking his first victory, what an incredible day it was for him and the 23 year old, moving himself also up in terms of the overall standings. But the final day was certainly gonna be an interesting one to say the least. There was so much at stake for Jake Ayula, who'd been a dominant force, but we still had UAE team members here as well. Diego Alisi, former winner of the race as well, wanted to challenge it, but the stage, was 142.6 kilometers, a cat size climb to begin with, then we had three sprint points and then a cat three climb towards the finish. So it was gonna be quite interesting. The race was underway and Tudor Pro Cycling were the riders, well, was the team pacing at the beginning. We got a select break trying to form, but it seemed like the peloton weren't too sure of letting a breakaway up the road and who was gonna be in that with the GC being so close. But we eventually got one and with 71.6 kilometers, we had a one minute and 47 second lead. And here we had Socorato in there. We had Horvat Ikai. We also had a human powered healthcare rider as well who didn't actually get flagged up by the organizers. Jacob Ayula who had the leader, Filippo Zana, and they managed to control the gap. One minute and 38 seconds with about 70 kilometers still to go. With 12.6 kilometers to go, we had the breakaway within reach, 26 seconds of the green jersey. We had this cat three climb, which was absolutely vicious, averaging 10.7% over the 1.7 kilometer distance and maxed out at 19%. So we were surely gonna see someone trying to do something here on the climb for sure. We saw Q36.5 try and hit out and plenty of riders were trying to react to the move, in particular Bahrain Victorious with Mate Morahic who was very abrupt. We had this climb before as well, but Zana was quick to follow any move that tried to get up the road. He was in control here with 10 kilometers to go of the Tour of Slovenia 2023. Zana was well and truly in the driving seat, but we got accelerations going by Bahrain Victorious. However, Zana managed to match the acceleration by the national treasure of Slovenia and it looked like these were really going to be the ones battling it out for the overall GC of the race of the 2023 edition. Diego Lisi, he was losing out. He was the man sitting closest to Zana in the beginning of the day. However, it looked like he wasn't able to match the pace being put on by Zana and Matej Morohic. So it looked like the two of them were potentially going to do something at Matej Morohic desperately wanting to win his own tour. He was denied the stage by Tadej Gacha last year and he was denied winning it as well. But Matej Morohic doing his best crossing the line for the Mountains Jersey points. And behind him, he had the leader, Filippo Zana, the national champion for Italy. And on the descent, it looked like Matej Morohic was potentially going to try and do something here. He managed to gap Zana as well. We know how good Morohic is on the descent. And here we had a very crucial moment in the race on the final stage. However, Zana did manage to just about bring him back slowly. And by the end of the descent, we did have Zana back together with Matej Morohic and 6.5 kilometers for the two riders. And this was quite an interesting dynamic duo that we had in front. But Diego Lisi did feel that his potential second place was under threat and his chances of winning this stage was running through his hands. And at the front with four kilometers to go, the two riders had a 29 second lead and the second group were 59 seconds after this group as well. So two chasing groups, but none of them very close. And within the last few moments of the stage, Zana was opening up the sprint, but it looked like Mate Morohic was gonna be the strongest rider on the day potentially, but we knew that Zana was gonna be taking the role. So here, almost a re the repeat of last year's final stage where we saw Tadabagacha out muscle Mate Morohic, but this time Mate Morohic managed to win the stage and Zana was the second placed rider on the day. So Matej Morohic, absolutely ferocious speed here in the final moments of the stage and the tour of Slovenia. So a very good finale for the Slovenian fans as one of the heroes did manage to take the win, but Zana taking the overall. Nevertheless, we got a sprint from behind. We had Peña, 
he was trying to make sure that he still had that top five position as well. Mezget getting third place, but Jaco Ayula, what a performance by this team, dominating this year's Tour of Slovenia. Two wins with Dylan Hoenewegen taking the overall as well. But Matej Morohic, the hero of the day, Bahrain victorious. This is going to be a very welcome win for them in what has been a very dark week for the team, of course. But Matej Morohic, another victory for him, and he'll be quite proud of this one. As we can see, he just honored the memory of Gino Mera as well, so that was good to see. But in terms of the stage, we had Matej Morohic, as we said, winning Zana in second place. And then 16 behind, 16 seconds behind Zana, we had Mezgic finishing in third. Then Lucas Eriksson, the Swede, finishing in fourth for Tudo Pro Cycling. Nicola for Carroal in fifth place. Alotti in sixth place. Peña in seventh place. Menes in eighth place. Ulisi in ninth place. And Swierhoff in tenth place. So not a bad top ten for many of these riders. And here's just the interview from the winner himself. Yes, uh, uh, the climb really suits me. Uh, I'm good at these kind of efforts. And uh, yeah, we committed today to the plan with all the team. We rode this one, all for Gino, and uh, we didn't care about the result. We just wanted to leave it all out on the road. I was focused on my own performance, and I just wanted, it, I just wanted to do my best effort on, uh, on the last climb. Uh, and then on the top, I saw it was just me and uh, Filippo. I uh, tried to took advantage of the descent, but it was not quite long enough to make a difference. So I waited for him in the final. I I thought that because he's not suited to this type of finishes, he's going to be on his hands and knees for the final flat six kilometers. So I I did big pulls, but I also recovered in the meantime, uh, and I was focused on the stage. And uh, at the end, I managed to win. So yeah, of course, I dedicate it to to the to my friend Gino, and uh, yeah, I think he would be happy for us today. Nevertheless, the GC is as follows for the 2023 edition of the Tour of Slovenia. Zana takes the victory, 18 seconds ahead of Matej Morohic. Ulisi, 23 seconds. Alotti in fourth place, 33 seconds. And we had Peña in fifth place. Swierhoff in sixth place. Paul Double in seventh place, one minute and five seconds down. Wout Pools in eighth place. Bali, Badia, Badilati in ninth place and Stussi in 10th place. So a lot of good performances, a lot of riders getting a first top 10 in their career and Zana, of course, winning a very big race as well. And then we just have the final podium of three teams that actually have Middle Eastern sponsors. So that was quite interesting to say the least. But Zana, Morohic and Olisi. So... Yeah, what could have been for Olisi, not quite the ferocious Olisi puncher we've been used to in the past. But nevertheless, that is it for the Tour of Slovenia. Thank you very much again to the organizers for providing these race highlights. And thank you as well for commenting and liking on this little mini series we've had. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We've got plenty of things coming up as well. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out the Echelon Cycling Podcast as well. Yeah, with that, thank you very much for watching. And of course, as always, I will see you around.